Well, I have to comment. I just watched the inauguration of Donald Trump, the 45th president of the United States. And uh, there may be 145 or a million and 45 to come. I have no idea. But I did note one thing that I think was significant, and that is the book that he laid his hand upon when he was sworn into office. It's called the Bible. Uh, while I'm thinking of that, let me give a shout out to Nero there who, uh, Nero, you said you burned all the Bibles. Um, and I thank Antiochus, you little antichrist you, you burned all the Bibles too. And Diocletian as well. A number of you people through history have burned all the Bibles. Well, I think you missed a few. Okay, because I saw it today, it was at the inauguration, giving the moral authority for the position to uh, rule in the highest office on earth politically. And so, but politicians and tyrants have always been, as a matter of fact, the Bible was illegal. No, it's illegal in 14 countries. It is uh, restricted in 48 countries. So for all you um, sheiks and caliphs and little tyrants and dictators out there that are trying to rule your country without the Bible, um, <laughs> good luck. Because luck is what you're going to need, and luck doesn't exist, okay? Uh, because there's no blessing on what you're doing. You're really, you're going to have a very difficult time, and answering to God is going to be worse. All the nations that forget God will be turned into hell. That's a promise from the Word. So, um, but you're not alone in hell, okay? The, uh, you know, you're great thinkers, um, your intelligentsia, not to be confused with intellectuals. Intellectuals think, intelligentsia just tell people what you need to think, okay? Uh, I believe it was just, or not Justin, but Julian of Rome. He wrote persuasively how that the Bible was invalid, or I can even come up to more medieval times. How about Voltaire? Voltaire! Voltaire of France, mon frère, comment ça va? How are you today, Voltaire? Uh, you took the Bible and tied it to a donkey's tail and dragged it through the streets and took it to the garbage dump and gave it a ceremonial burial. How great of you to do that gee how 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 stupid you know that's it you said that a uh, hundred years after your death the bible would be gone well well 1773 maybe i could be off give or take three or four years but uh, this is 2017 i think that's more than a hundred years <laughs> out okay so you missed it buddy and uh but don't worry you're not alone there's a lot of people that have attacked the bible the archers have shot at it the snipers have fired at it every intellectual fit the philosophers have tried to venomize it and rationalize it away. Everybody tries to get rid of the Bible, but it's still here, guys. The Bible is still here. And uh, let's see, who else? Would, oh, oh, yeah, scientists, right. We've got, we've got Mr. Dawkins. We've got Stephen Hawking. We've got a number of people that are incredibly intelligent and scientific minds, but they're actually fools because they have said no to God or that there is no God. Very foolish thing to do. So anyway, um, I just had to give the shout out and I just had to make this comment because I was so, uh, I can't explain what came over me when I saw the Bible was used, that the president, whoever he is, would put his hand on the Bible and pray and be sworn in using the word of God as the moral authority because I tell you what, Heaven and earth, which includes the United States of America, it'll pass away. And the world and the oceans and the sea and the stars and the moon and everything is coming down. Uh, there will be a new heaven and a new earth. But I want you to say that heaven and earth will pass away, but God's word will not. 